September 24th, 2020. A rainy day in Villa Rica, Georgia. Things seem quiet, but this police cruiser is about to record something that happens far too often in the U.S. Up ahead, the gates of a railroad crossing are going down, and a truck can't quite make its turn. A wider shot shows something else, locomotive headlights rapidly approaching. There's nothing the officer can do. And with the train's brakes still squealing, the first responders jump into action, checking to make sure everyone is all right. Luckily, no one was hurt. This all happened at the intersection of Highway 78 and South Carroll Road. The scene is only about 100 yards from the Villa Rica Police Department. Let me get out of the way and come up with a plan. I got other officers coming. These pictures, posted on its Facebook page, show the aftermath. It looks like the trailer was pushed at least 220 yards. Five days after the collision, aside from the railroad employees examining the rebuilt crossing, it looks like nothing happened here. The crossing is well protected with lights, gates, and a bell. And according to these reports, posted on the Federal Railroad Administration's website, there have only been two accidents at this crossing up until now. Neither of those resulted in any injuries. But the national data is a lot more alarming. According to preliminary statistics gathered by the FRA and posted on Operation Lifesaver's website, in 2019, there were more than 2,200 vehicle train collisions in the U.S. Sadly, those preliminary statistics show more than 290 people lost their lives. Fortunately, those same stats show those numbers have been declining over the past several decades. So what do you do if you see something like this happening or if it happens to you? And keep in mind, a lot of this is common sense, but it's worth repeating. First of all, if there's immediate danger, get to a safe location and call 911. If you don't see or hear a train coming, find one of these blue and white signs. These are called Emergency Notification System, or ENS signs. They have an 800 number you can call, along with the crossing's number, that you can give to the operator to tell them exactly where you are. Being prepared in the event of an emergency is important, but preventing those emergencies altogether is even more crucial. Most of us should know by now that trains can weigh thousands of tons and take a long time to stop. Always expect a train when you're near the tracks and don't stop on crossings. And remember, trains are wider than the tracks, so just because you're not stopped directly on the rail doesn't mean you're out of danger. Make sure you can completely clear the crossing as you approach it. And of course, more rail safety tips are available on Operation Lifesaver's website. Ultimately, the majority of us will never see something like what happened here in person. And while it's amazing all of this was caught on camera, it's also a miracle that no one got hurt. Trains are powerful machines that can change or even end lives if they're not respected.